the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, PPACA, or Obamacare as it is more commonly known, is an attempt by the federal government to reform the private health insurance market, provide better coverage for those with pre-existing conditions, improve prescription drug coverage in Medicare, and extend the life of the Medicare Trust Fund by at least 12 years. Proponents of the bill claim it will ensure 32 million currently uninsured people, provide better care to those already insured, and save trillions of dollars in the process. It will also make you more attractive, get your kid to do the chores, eliminate that strange smell in your fridge, and right all wrongs. Or not. Most controversially, it will mandate that all citizens buy government-approved health insurance or face the wrath of the IRS. The effects of Obamacare are spread out over time so that not all the controversial measures will go into effect in any given election cycle. Smart politics for poor policy. As it stands now, the only new tax to have gone into effect is a 10% tax on indoor tanning salons. Unfortunately, the estimation that Snooky and the cast of the Jersey Shore would be able to solve the budget gap have been vastly overrated. The effects of measures not yet implemented in Obamacare are already being felt. The holes in Obamacare are starting to show, and it is clear that this administration is willing to bend the rules for its friends. Since the PPACA has the power to determine what is acceptable health care and what is not, businesses that provide unacceptable coverage have rightly determined that they will need to either stop offering the coverage they now provide or fire the employees that now get these benefits. So you get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! Say it ain't so, Joe. Well, if you are a friend to this administration, you can get a waiver. Just make sure you stay on the good side of the regulators in Congress, or that waiver can be rescinded. As it stands now, there are over a thousand companies that have received waivers. Not surprisingly, many of those now receiving waivers, or petitioning for them, supported the bill before it was law. Friends of this administration who think that while a bureaucratic government agency dictating health care choices may be fine for you, like it, it's not so good for them. One group receive waivers are the individual Americans who, right or wrong in their choice, do not want to buy health insurance, as the PPACA contains an individual mandate. That is, Congress can mandate that you buy whatever product or service they think is best for the proletariat. Case health insurance, uh, or government approved health insurance. Even if you believe that health insurance, this new power of the federal government to mandate that you buy a product will only grow over time. Today the government demands you buy health insurance. Tomorrow, who knows what the lobbyists and empty suits in Congress will mandate you purchase. While time precludes detailing each and every flaw of the PPACA, reviewed as a whole, it is an unmitigated disaster for our health care system and those who love liberty. It's the goals it set out to accomplish and will only further enlarge the beast that our federal government has become. If you love liberty and the birthright handed founding fathers, you must stop Obamacare. So what can you do? You are not a congressman or a senator. You're not a K Street lobbyist with millions to contribute to campaign coffers. An ordinary American who works for a living and doesn't want handouts or a government nanny state who built this country. The type of citizen who can still save this country. Start by picking up that mightiest of weapons, the pen. Write to your elected officials and tell them you want Obamacare repealed. Tell them you will not donate one dollar to their campaigns until it is. Tell them that if they come in office to repeal it, 
you will vote against them in the primary election. Write them every week, every day if you have to, until our health care decisions are ours to make again.